Yeah, I just can't um, get over all that's happened this past week um, when it comes to how bad the week has gone for President Biden. We have a few of them. I mean, and this may not even cover it all, but the CDC fact checks liberal justices uh, pushing vaccine mandates. Americans are losing faith in the CDC. They're still finding it hard to get a COVID test. Record cases across the country. Hospitals reaching capacity. Uh, p the POTUS pivots to voting rights. That didn't pan out for him. The l list goes on and on and on. Vice President Harris is being mocked for that TV interview. Manchin says, there's uh, been no renegotiating for Build Back Better. Russia is a disaster. Those um, talks are falling apart. North Korea fired yet another, another missile. And then, of course, we got the approval ratings from President Biden yesterday, the Quinnipiac approval rating sinking to 33 percent. And, Todd, during um, uh, Jen Psaki's uh, White House press briefing yesterday, one of the reporters asked her, you know, listen, things are clearly not going well for the administration. Should should you pivot strategies? And she, of course, dodged the question. I, the only way that you can pivot strategies, though, is if it is if it comes from the top. It's not an internal thing. It's not like they need to renegotiate or, or, or fire a few people. President Biden needs to just completely he needs to recognize that this is a 50 50 split Senate. It is completely divided between Republicans and Democrats. And he is ruling and governing like he has a supermajority. And that's really what needs to change.